Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this um, bow hair clip. As you can see, it's very easy to crochet and I'm going to go through um, this process step by step. The free pattern is available as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the down bar. And so for this project I used Kobu Yarn by Lion Brand Yarns. And this is 51% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo. It's a light 3 yarn, also known as TK weight yarn in British terms. And this is shade pink. I only used um, a bit of this yarn. You will also be needing a 4mm crochet hook a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors and for the um, slide part, part I ordered these um, from Amazon. Everything will be linked in the description box and this is a five centimeter slide. You can order whichever size you prefer and to secure it onto the project I used a um, darning needle and some darning thread and that's all you will be needing for this um, project and I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That really helps out my channel. And if you want more feminine crochet content don't forget to head over to my Patreon page the link is in the down bar. Okay, so to begin your tutorial, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now what you are going to be doing is, um, we are going to be chaining 50 in the round. So I'm going to show you a small technique um, on how to do this easily. So chain one, two, three, and four. And once you have four chains, you are going to be um, removing your hook from um, that fourth chain and pop your hook into the first chain. Okay, I've done this off camera because it was too hard to do on camera. So I've popped my hook through the first chain that we made and just pop it into the fourth chain. So this is what it looks like. And now you are going to be carrying on chaining until you have 50. So five, six, seven, eight and just carry this on and this prevents um, the project from twisting so just carry on doing this until you have 50 chains in total so I've chained less because I'm demonstrating this part and the um, and it doesn't matter how many chains I have for this demonstration so you should have 50 once you have 50 just um, pop this um, last chain through, pop the yarn through um, the first um, chain to close off this round and now you are going to be chaining two, one and two and this counts as your first half double crochet and it goes with this first um, chain here. You are going to be going into the second chain with a half double crochet and into the next chain with a half double crochet and to make your half double crochet sorry I forgot to demonstrate so to make a half double crochet wrap your yarn around your hook go into this chain pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook take your yarn and go through all three loops and just place a half double crochet in each and every chain across 
until you reach the beginning of this round and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Your, um, uh, your round should be larger, obviously, because um, you've got more chains. So now that you've placed your last half double crochet, um, you are going to be slip stitching through the first chain two that we did to close off this round. So just go ahead and slip stitch and as you can see this prevents our project from twisting. So now for round two, chain two and once again this counts as a half double crochet and go directly into the next um, stitch with another half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and just go all the way around with a half double crochet and once you've um, gone all the way around just um, repeat what I've just showed you slip stitch through the first chain two that we did and just repeat this round until you have 11 rounds in total and once you have 11 rounds in total I'll show you how to finish off this part. Okay so um, this is my actual project and I'm going to be working with this going forward. So we have our 11 rounds. I've just finished um, my last half double crochet of my 11th round as you can see. I'm going to slip stitch through this chain two here like so. So slip stitch pull through and pull um, your yarn through like this to close off this round. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewed in my loose ends just to show you um, so that it looks better on camera. So you can either sew your loose ends in now or later. And so this is what we have and we are going to locate um, where the seam is. So this is where the seam is on my project. So this is where we would join every time we finished a round. I'm just going to be um, centering this seam um, and this will be the back of the bow um, just because it will look neater. Okay, so now that you've um, placed your project like I've just explained, just take your yarn and attach, create a knot, so go the, all the way around and create a knot and tighten gently like so, so you've knotted your project. Now turn your project round again and knot it again like this. So just make sure um, that you are pulling it, not too tight but not too um, loose. So this is it. So once I've got this shape like this, I'm going to be tying a double knot like this gently okay okay so this is what we have for now and we are going to be going round with this um, yarn so I'm just gonna go round over and over and I did count that I was going to be going round about 50 times. So yes, I'm just going to be going around 50 times like so, so I'm going to let you do this and then I'll get back to you to show you how to finish off this project. Okay, so I've gone around about 50 times. I did count. Just fasten off this yarn. So to finish this off, I'm just gonna attach my two loose ends together like this and then I'm simply going to be fastening I'm not fastening off. I am going to be tidying up my loose end and in this instance um, I will be linking in the down bar my video on how to sew in my loose ends but in this case I'll show you right now how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to be doing this. So I'm just going to be going um, into 
the back of the project. I hope you can see, sorry about that, a few times before I fasten off completely. There we go. Okay, so now that you've crocheted and finished your bow, this part we are going to be making um, the two strands. Well, it is one strand, but it will look more or less like this. So I'm going to show you how to crochet this part, which is a long rectangle. Okay, so to begin this part, you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot, pop your hook through the slip knot, and now you are going to be chaining 10. So just go ahead and chain 10. One, two, three. Okay, so now that you've um, chained 10, what you are going to be doing is um, placing a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So count one, two, and three and go ahead and place a half double crochet into that stitch, like so. And the first chain two counts as a half double crochet. Now place a half double crochet into the next chain and a half double crochet into the next chain and into the next chain and place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across. Okay, so I've gone into each and every chain across for row one and this is what you should have. And now for row two, you are going to be chaining two, one and two. Turn your work and this counts as your first half double crochet and goes with this first stitch here. So you are going to be going into the next stitch with a half double crochet. So just go into that next stitch and place a half double crochet into that. And then go into the next stitch. and into the next stitch and into the next stitch and just place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and don't forget to include your chain two from the previous row. So don't forget that stitch. Just go into the chain two from the previous row, like so. And this is what it looks like. And now for row three, just repeat row two. So chain two, one and two. Turn your work and this goes with this stitch here. Now go directly into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and just place a half double crochet into each stitch across until you reach the end of this row don't forget the chain two from the previous row and just repeat this process until you have 36 rows in total and then i'll show you what to do then okay so um I finished this part. As you can see, I fastened off and I've sewn in all my loose ends and I am going to be attaching it to the um, bow part. So to do this, I am going to be folding this like this to give it the right shape. Okay, so like I said, we are going to be giving this part its shape like so and then um, to sew it onto the project we are going to be placing this like that so this obviously will be the back of the bow take your yarn and I've um, actually um, placed a loose piece of yarn onto the um, 
sewing needle well it's not a sewing needle the tapestry needle and what I am going to be doing is sewing this part onto the back of the project like this so I hope you can see so I'm just gonna delicately sew it onto the back of the project so there really is nothing complicated about this um, I'm gently sewing it and there will be no real pressure on this part of the project so you don't have to sew it in um, really strongly just sew it as best you can so just go all the way around and sew this in and then I'll show you what to do next okay so this is what I have and this is how I've sewed this project this is what it looks like from the front so I really love it we are going to pop this back on the back and we are going to be taking our little slide so I've written down in the description box I think this is about a five centimeter slide to be honest I ordered this um, online and I did think it would be a bigger slide but it wasn't but it doesn't matter it will still be okay but just um, you can use whichever size slide you prefer I would have preferred a larger one but it's fine I'll use that one it will be fine and as you can see I'm just going to place this um, slide just above what we've just sewed and I am going to be using my um, darning thread and needle to sew this in like so so I'm just going to sew this project in like so there we go so I'm just going to go round and round the way my I'm just going to zoom in actually the way my um, slide is um, it's got two rounds for attaching onto something if that makes sense so I'm just going to go with my um, with my thread and you are going to be wanting to secure this quite well because there will be quite a bit of pressure on this part because that's where you will be um, um, that's the part you will be using to tie your hair with um, I know I have very thick hair so my hair is very thick so there will be a lot of pressure um, on this slide just because I have so much hair but obviously um, this depends on your hair type but I'm going to make sure that I secure this quite well so I'm going round and round in circles just make sure that this part is well centered and just finish this side and then do the exact same thing on the other side and then I'll show you what to do then <laughs> 